Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Blackwell Unbound. Uh, this is the second game in the Blackwell series, and from what I, under from what I understand, this is a prequel to the Blackwell Legacy. So I guess this time around we actually play as uh, Rosa's aunt. Um, what's her name, Lauren? <laughs> I mean, I know it hasn't been too long since I played the first game, but I've been doing all a lot of other stuff lately. I just I get names mixed up left and right, but that's just me. But yeah, um, a lot of people seemed very interested in me continuing the series, and well, I said I was. Um, I just wasn't sure when I wanted to do it. I, I didn't know if I wanted to do it right away or um, waited a little bit. But you know, hey, why the hell not? I'll just go ahead and do this right now. Um, I guess what I could do first before I do anything is to check the options. I'm sure there's nothing going to be here. Speech. Something. Commentary, I always leave that off because it, it's it's cool. I like playing playing game twice or three times. Uh, one through the commentary, you know, just to see what the hell, you know, what the uh, creator of the games have to say. Um, and yeah, once again, this is, uh, I'm sure it's on the title, but this is a blind run. I have no idea. What the story is or anything, so um, I want to keep it like that for the entirety of the, the Blackwell series. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, yeah, why the hell not? Just in case I somehow miss, uh, missed anything or forget anything. I just want to know how the story is going to pan out now. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, it's all the same to me. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. What I like already is the music, and even the visual style seems to be upgraded a little bit. So, I have a feeling this is actually going to be a really interesting, a really good game. It seems they brought back, uh, I, I know that Abe guy, he he talked for Joey, so it seems like they, I, I'm assuming they're going to bring back all the original voice actors for, for any returning characters. Uh, uh, at least I would think so. But uh, yeah, it seems like everything's a little bit more upgraded. And um, well, now I'm just really interested in anything this, uh, the company has, uh, has to... Uh, has to produce. I know Dave Gilbert. He's made many games in this year, like you know, and stay out and stuff like this. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be good. Oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why? Are you gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great. You want a cigarette? What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. It seems they got rid of the whole uh, portrait of their faces. Just one. Then I can get on with this. Oh, yeah, whatever. Here we go. Walking. Just left click anywhere. Uh, yeah, so it seems that uh, Lauren here is a... Uh, uh, she's a smoker, but yeah, whatever. I mean, shoot, if I was in a situation, I think I would need... I do something to relieve all that stress. I, I haven't know. taken any notes. Okay, but I'm just looking at that case list. No, the case list doesn't exist. Nothing exists until I finish this cigarette. Okay. No. Nothing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. A pack of cigarettes should last till the end of the day. Hmm. It's my lighter. This will probably be my last cigarette of the day. Anything else? Can I get... There we go. No. I'm not moving from this spot. Oh, uh, fine. What? Switching characters? She isn't going anywhere right now. Maybe you'll better, better luck with Joey. Oh, that's awesome. I get to switch characters. That way I... I'm not no, I, I just want to move... Uh, get rid of this case list. The, the, mm. No. Not fine, fine, fine. Tab. Good. We're now controlling Joey. Um... You can also switch by pressing the J or L buttons on the main interface. Okay, walk over to Lauren and left-click talk to her. And of course, he doesn't have anything on him. 
but uh, I guess we can just... It's not really walking now, is it? More like hovering. Let's just take a look at some stuff here. Oh, uh, yeah. We saw that picture with, um... Uh, with Rosa. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. Now, he always seems mad in these pictures. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's alright, I guess. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell. Also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. Look how young she was. She's gotta be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Time flies. That looks profoundly useless. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. What is he talking about here? I mean, I really... Never mind. I, I think he's just talking about the photos. Um, let's go ahead and exit here. What else is there? Boy, if I could touch it, a jar stuffed with loose cash. Okay. Man, that is an old coat. I think soldiers wore it during the Civil War. Oh, come on, Joey. A pair of muddy boots. So, well, what, what, what year did they say it was 1973? I think they got the style down kind of, pretty much, I guess. Just an old doormat. It's covered in cigarette burns. Of course, I wouldn't know. I wasn't born anywhere near 70s. I have but, no you know, interest hey. in that thing. It's a TV. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? You can try. I can't remember the last time she washed that thing. Ooh. Just a radio. Yeah, I, I know. I'm probably going to take, take my sweet time. It's just how I am when it comes to these games. You already, I already explained that before. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, look. Another ashtray. She keeps smoking, and yet that pile never seems to grow smaller. Well, they get more. It's her phone. Some kind of recording device. She babbles into it every morning. She calls this thing a Polaroid. Takes pictures instantly. It's pretty amazing. Hmm. It's her phone book. How things have changed over the Just years. Just another one of the many mugs that plague this place. The local rep. I gotta get myself a camera. Oh, look. Or a it's more modern couch. one. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. I think the last one I have, it's like... I got it for as a graduation gift. When I graduated grade school and... <laughs> That's almost ten years ago. That thing is deader than, well, me. There you go. Tackiest thing I ever saw. What does it say? What does it say? Candle in a bottle. I thought it was a cigarette in a bottle. Another ashtray. What a surprise. Okay, I guess you know, we'll just go ahead and talk to Warren because that's what the game wants us to do. Hey, what? Uh. Oh my God. Well. I kind of want to do what Joey would, you know, just knowing his, um, just knowing his demeanor, you know, probably do the insult, but, uh, let's just go ahead and just apologize, I guess. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um. Exactly. Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. You done moping? Or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey. Can't you just leave it for one minute? Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke? Yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laugh. That laugh of Joey's was, uh, <laughs> was kind of funny. Um, I just saw the truth. Well, it was funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. <coughs> it wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face, the way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. Oh, geez. You gotta love the banter between these two, though. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. How can they have a false alarm for these cases that they do? I mean... Well, whatever. Uh, okay, so let's switch to the 
Lauren. Look at the case list. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. Oh. Yeah, this is what they're talking about. I thought, like, you know, like, they saw ghosts, but they were like, no, no, we know we're dead, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, grocer in Little Italy reports his uh, stock disappearing, or just rats. Strange moaning. What? I'm gonna move that. Strange moaning on. Uh, is that Staten Island? Like, I, don't know, I was gonna say stolen. I'm like, what? Uh, Harry at night. That's just the old water pipes, and that's what she's mad about. Woman reports her husband's ghost talks to her, and she's in trunk. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. And that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. And I guess we have these two cases. Strange music heard on the Roosevelt Island uh, promenade, and construction halted on 53rd Street due to bizarre accidents. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. A development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. This one looks promising. Residents... I already did good. Oh, okay. So, um, can we leave? Joey, come here. Yeah, doll? I see one thing I didn't do in the in the first the first game really. I didn't really chat with Joey mad, about you know. stuff, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really speak with Joey like concerning like our family or you know what he does, whatnot. And well, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can be more thorough in this game. I really need to get a bigger place. You think so? I find this place quite cozy. So do I. That's the problem. Hmm. So yeah, yeah. Myself, I kind of find it cozy as well. I think I would like. I wouldn't want a smaller apartment. Oh man! I need a change Whatever. in my life, Joey. A change? The day-to-day -day grind of freeing tormented spirits getting too boring for you? No, I'm thinking of changing the wallpaper. How does pink sound to you? Pink? You're not a pink person. It would brighten up the place. No, pink. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. I guess we better- After- Okay. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Now let's see what the hell I can examine as Lauren. I wish I could charge him rent. <laughs> I tried growing flowers in there once. Now, it's an ashtray. Well, that happened. Uh... That's the couch ashtray. For when I sleep or watch TV. My couch. It doubles as my bed at night. Sure, I can nurse this thing back to health. Just needs a little more time. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen, Lauren. The kitchen ashtray for when I'm cooking or watering the plant. I guess you don't do either both that much. Who needs a candlestick when a cola bottle works just as well? Well, teach their own, I guess. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. I should really clean this place up later. Yes, no, no, now, well, you got work to, I guess. It's a dictation machine. I've been trying to keep a record of my dreams by recording what I remember. It's my Polaroid camera. You know what kind of sucks, though, is, like, we see Lauren, you know, here, and we know how, how she turns out, you know, in the first game, or, you know, what, what happened to her, and it's like, well, geez, you know. That sucks that's seeing, so, like, knowing that's, that would, that's gonna happen to a person, you know. What can you do? Oh, right. I made a cup of coffee this morning and never washed the cup. Or was that yesterday? You. It's my rainy day jar. I put some money in here whenever I think of it. It's a trick I learned from my mother. There's around $60 in here now. Last time I counted, I had I'll save it. Oh, you gotta take your coat or boots or anything with you? I don't need to wear my coat. It's summer. Okay. It's summer and it hasn't rained for weeks. I don't right. need to wear my boots. Okay, fine, fine. We would leave. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Not really. All right. Now here we go. I, I like the map screen here. I, I, I yeah, I, I like it how they did it here. It's 
yes, it's a little bit more simplistic, but the first game when I just it was seriously just huge icons, uh, I was like, eh, you know, whatever. It was a certain way to do a map screen, yes. Um, but you know, I think this way it's a little, yes, yeah, a little bit more simplistic, but better in a sense. Uh, I think they said that the Ro what was the thing first? I think it was a, they said a Roosevelt Island thing was the per first possible case. So we'll go here. Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. God, the music's really good in this game. Hey, look. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. Oh, who's that? So we got our notebook here. Um, click the notes. Only Lauren can use it. Let's take a look at our notes then. Ghost on the promenade. The spear of a saxophone player is haunting a Roosevelt Island promenade. And once again, it's going to be one of those things where to connect stuff. So he's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Ah, uh, I wish I could play a saxophone. I think I, I actually. No, I think I used to have one a long time ago. Just uh, somebody was selling it, and uh, very cheap. It was a garage sale, but uh. Never got into it, but now I kind of wish I did. Queensboro Bridge, it connects Manhattan to Queens. That's some view. I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Hmm. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I, I love skylines. I mean, that's why I, one of the reasons, like, you know, living in Chicago is amazing. Just that skyline's awesome. Hmm. Uh. Hey, mister. Nice tune. You write it yourself? I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. I don't think he's gonna listen to us. I'm not sure if I should do this. Hey, I'll give him a shot. Hey. Mister? you -hoo. I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. Ugh, forget it. Okay, how about this? We'll switch to Joey, see if he can talk to him. Another night, another crazy spook. Hopefully this won't take too long. That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. So, nice night, huh? Jeez, how, do I gotta, like, clog his, the saxophone or something? Hey, do you feel restless? Like you've got somewhere to go but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. Do they have small cigarettes? I mean, uh, ghost cigarettes? Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh! Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. That's yeah. your idea of that's, that's not gonna work, Quiet, will ya? I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. See you. Can we simply just not do anything here yet? Hey, kid, come here. Yes? Looks like our night won't be so easy after all. Disappointed? Nah. So what do you think of our guy? Him? I don't think he wants to be saved. Really? Look at him. He seems peaceful enough. I say we just leave him. You know we can't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I'm just cranky and tired. Is that right? It's hard to tell with you. Be quiet. Is there a reason why they they have to, you know, send them off? I mean, I guess besides the fact that, you know, it's like, oh, maybe the right thing to do, or, like, you know, ghosts are meant to be in, you know, beyond the planes or whatever, but, uh, I, well, I don't know. Like, I guess it's not right for them to be here. If you got a haunted place, I can't think of a more perfect spot. I don't think he's paying attention to the view. Hmm, what a waste. Hmm. You know, I really don't have anything to say. Hmm. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get on with it. Yeah. 
Uh, switch back to Lauren. See if I can I talk. talk to you, Jeff. Yeah. So we can discuss. Oh. See what she has to say, maybe, or he has to say. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. Ah. Oh. That's it for now. Yeah. Well. I honestly guess we can't do anything yet. Hmm. Maybe I, I, I can I give him stuff? Because in this game, I can actually, it seems like I can actually give things to other people or ghosts. No, it's mine. Okay, so you couldn't do this before in the other game. No, it's No, it's mine. I'm not going to give him should last till the This will proud. See, now I can't even grab him. What the hell? I don't. Oh, that's odd. I guess we can just leave. I have no idea, no clue what else to do here. So I guess, um, well, it's already 21 minutes. I guess in the next episode, guys, we'll go ahead and uh, go to 53rd and Lex and see what's going on there. I forgot what the case file said about here. But, um, uh, but yeah, this has been the first episode of Blackwell, or I shouldn't say the, but Blackwell Unbound. I hope you guys are interested so far. Um, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. I I'm assuming that if it's anything like the first game, then it shouldn't take me too long. Uh, but I am, it looks like it's going to be a good story, nonetheless. So, uh, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Blackwell Unbound. I'll see you guys later.